In today's review, we're going to be having a look at the Batman The Dark Knight Returns limited edition bobblehead from the folks over at FOCO. A big thank you to the folks over at FOCO for providing the sample pieces that we're going to be looking at in the next couple of videos. This one, we're going to be looking at the limited edition bobblehead of Batman depicted from the very popular comic run, The Dark Knight Returns. Before we have a look at the bobblehead, let's figure out how tall it is. I'm going to take it right to the top of the moon. After all, that's going to dictate how high this will fit on your shelf, so why not that be a stopping point? And right there, right there, there we go. Sometimes the hold button doesn't always work. The inch level, how high this is in inches, is 9 to be exact in centimeters. You would be looking at the bobblehead standing at 23 centimeters exactly. Getting it out of box, you're given three individual pieces, all of which you'll have to put together. And I'll show you how to put together in a second. I want to first show you the display base that Batman will eventually be sitting atop of. And it is a non-illuminated, very dark Gotham City. I like its simplicity. It's very stylized looking Gotham City. And it's a nice backdrop for then what will be Batman standing atop of that. You've got the broad Batman logo here from the Dark Knight Returns. Nice brick facing all the way around. And then you've got the Batman Dark Knight Returns on the front in, an, in a raised placard. We flip it around. And on the underside, not only are you treated to four rubberized feet, of course, to prevent scratching, but you're also given the little little uh, label here from FOCO indicating it's also a limited edition handcrafted collectible. Then you have Batman. Now, Batman is already attached to one of the buildings. You'll see that there's also a post on the underside there. And what you're going to want to do is take the base, attach Batman, and you're going to slide him through. Now, I haven't seen this before. Take the post, which is almost like a, a screw, kind of a spiral screw there, and it'll fit through the hole like that. And then that's not enough. FOCO also gets gives you a washer. There it is right there. And they also give you a little faster, a little, almost like a little screw nut there. And then you're just gonna wanna twist this in place. Again, I haven't seen this before from a bobblehead. Usually if there's anything that's component wise, you're simply just attaching it to the base, but they do it at least in a way that it's gonna be a lot more secure of a fit. It's definitely not gonna be going anywhere, so I like that. And then the last thing you need to do is you need to add the moon. Now, I have to honestly admit that when I got this out of the packaging, I thought there was paint on the other side. Yeah, should have had a V8. I realized later those are bats. So what you're gonna do is spin it around and there is a hole which is at times very hard to make out because everything else is so pitch black but there is a hole it is i think right there no no see i completely missed it again it is where is the hole it is it's easier if you tilt it this way because you can see yeah the hole's right there i was right the hole goes right there and then the moon just attaches into place just like that now, normally I would not obviously have to be able to, I wouldn't be able to tip it over without the risk that the bobblehead would fall out. And again, luckily, because I've screwed that in place, I know it's not gonna be going anywhere. It's a pretty neat looking bobblehead, I have to admit. And of course, being that it's bobblehead, you'll see that there's a little spring on the internal uh, cavity of Batman's head. If you tilt it too much though, you do see a little bit of the glue clearly where it shows that they've attached the spring, but luckily tilt, seeing it from this side, you're really not gonna see it as much. The head sculpt is good, if not simplistic. Kind of gives you a sort of caricature of Batman from The Dark Knight Returns. It's not a bad looking head sculpt, 
Um, they've really gone in and they've given a lot of texturing to his head. I kind of wish that the head was a little bit more smoother than what it was, and it didn't have as many of these little cracks and it seems deliberate, um, you know, little markings that they've put into the head sculpt here. You know, from certain angles as, as well, it almost kind of looks like Wolverine, just the way that the ears go up the way that they do. The head sculpt, though, is not bad. Like I said, it's not bad, other than just the fact that they, they do add a lot of texturing to this. Now, these are handcrafted, so, of course, you know, you, you can afford for a little bit of extra, uh, not blemishes, but little imperfections. Again, with the cape, they've sort of done these little cross hatchings here. From a distance, it actually doesn't look as bad, and I suppose it does add to the feel that the Dark Knight Returns uh, series run kind of depicts with its artwork. As we get a little bit closer once again, we've got the big, bold bat emblem. That's a lot of bees. And some nice shading, actually, around the bicep area of the form and around the shoulder area. A lot of that shading also carries its way into the lower torso. He de definitely depicts Batman like it does from that cover, where Batman is, like, flying through the sky. The only thing missing, I guess, I think is the lightning bolt there in the background. But it, do it does have a nice flow to it. For it to be a, also a bobblehead, the bobblehead action seems to work rather well. I wouldn't be probably doing it at excessive amounts, just in case that, uh, you know, you, you cause damage to this. Because it it's not plastic, this material that they used isn't plastic. I'm not really sure what material they used for this. It's not quite a resin. I would definitely have to look it up. But uh, it's definitely not, like I said, it's not a plastic material. Coloring, to their credit, is done nice. The paint is done good the grays and then like i said that dark color that they've added around the bicep and just like the muscle over area as a whole is pretty good not 100 percent sold on the batman face but you're really not going to be seeing it necessarily from the front i think the low sunken uh frown sort of detracts a little bit from batman but then again you're going to be seeing it from this side you're probably not going to be displaying it like this. You may be displaying it like that, I don't know, but I probably would be more so displaying it like this, which I think gives it the more afforded sort of glance at it as opposed to looking at it really close and seeing like, I do like to think that the mouth is a little bit, uh, a little bit too frowny for my liking, but here, the way you're really supposed to be seeing it, it doesn't actually look all that bad. Uh, the texturing on the moon is also a nice touch. Now that I know those are bats, I can definitely see now bats. But before, you'll have to excuse me. I thought that that was actually paint. But I do like the moon. The moon looks good. And the overall aesthetic of the bobblehead looks really good from this side. Uh, again, when you spin it around this side, I think it sort of loses a little bit of the, the effect that they were going for. But, I mean, really, this is the way, this side here is the way you really should be looking at the bobblehead. And from that standpoint, looking at it this way, I think it's a really neat-looking, effective, simplified version of Batman, as depicted from The Dark Knight Returns. Those wishing to find out more about FOCO can find their fanhood over at www.foco.com. You can also follow FOCO USA on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Instagram. And speaking of FOCO, a big thank you to the folks over at FOCO for providing the sample copy here of Batman from the Dark Knight Returns, as well as some of the other bobbleheads that we're going to be looking at in the upcoming videos. Regarding this piece, it's a nice simplified version of the Cape Crusader depicted from the Dark Knight Returns. It sort of has a slight crudeness to it, but that goes along with the charm of this being a handcrafted item. It feels secure enough in its base, and I like the fact that there was that little screw that you could screw into place to guarantee you that Batman's not going to fly off the display bottom. The moon is also a nice little touch, incorporating something that you can put behind the figure, and that's actually one thing that benefits this figure from, is looking at it from the side. You also get the full option of being able to see it from a 360 turn, but much like the comic in which the bobblehead is depicted from, I think it looks the best right now, with Batman from the side, leaping across the sky. Today we were having a look at the FOCO, FOCO USA, Batman The Dark Knight Returns limited edition bobblehead. If you guys haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, what are you waiting for? More videos, including more FOCO bobbleheads, will be coming your way. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.